All right, so I have another video for you today. I'm in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, where I usually don't come to fish. I'm headed to the Taquan, hold on, I, I gotta say this right, hold on. Taquan Glen Nature Preserve uh, to fish T Taquan Creek, which looks like a class A uh, wild brown trout stream. So to all the rule followers out there, I'm sure there's some of you who are like, Hey man, did you know that the uh, Taquan Glen Nature Preserve is actually closed because of coronavirus? And I would say back to that, that I do read the internet and I did look at the Lancaster Conservancy website and indeed the Taquan Glen Nature Preserve parking lots are closed. However, um, on their website they do say that there are two strenuous alternative options. So. If you go to the Pinnacle Overlook, it's like a parking area overlook of the Susquehanna River. There's a trail called the Conestoga, something like that, Conestoga Trail, which provides a, according to them, a strenuous 1.2 mile hike into the Taquan Glen and subsequently Taquan Creek. Um, and that is one way that is still, you know, applicable and legal to get into the Glen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the Pinnacle Overlook. We're gonna hop on the Conestoga Trail. We're gonna hike for 1.2 miles. We're gonna get into the Glen. We're gonna start fishing uh, to Quan Creek. Again, Class A Wild Brown Trout Stream. We're gonna fish upstream as far as we can until we get to this road. We're gonna hop on that road, walk back to the car. So that's the plan. We're sticking to it. Um, just driving through Lancaster County right now. Beautiful, beautiful day. About 50, 52 degrees, low wind. Uh, so yeah, let's um, let's get out here, rig up, and see what we can do. Man, do I love Lancaster. It's so beautiful. You can see there's like an old kiln or something right here. Like some, some old kiln maybe. But yeah, Lancaster with the farmlands. Again, not, not well known for trout. I know there's some freestone and some limestone streams, but man do i love going through the lancaster farmland i mean look at that people people drying clothes outside salt to the earth hard workers this is real nice real nice so i just saw the scenic overlook of the susquehanna river really cool got the river over here so we're following this trail. Uh, I think it's the Conestoga Trail, which will lead us into the uh, Taquan Glen area. So I could hike back this way, but this looks like it's gonna be pretty much straight down hike. So I think to get back to my car, I'm gonna go a longer way, but it'll be less strenuous because this looks like it would be absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible. So Wow, so after an incredibly difficult hike on the Conestoga, I was right, Conestoga Trail, now on the Blue Trail, which will lead us up through the Taquan Glen area. Oh man, it was such a difficult hike. They said it was, they say it's only a mile and a half, but, or 1.2 miles, but it was really strenuous. So the plan is it's like 5 p.m. For the next two hours between now and 7 p.m. we're gonna work our way up this glen. Fortunately there's a path we're gonna try to fish as many holes as we can. So we just got to this first big nice hole right here. Nice hole. Let's toss out our spinner in here. Nothing on that one. This looks more like Brookie habitat, but supposedly it's brownie. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Little guy, little guy. Little guy, little guy. Wet my hands real quick. Oh, nice brownie. Getting the hook out of him real quick. First brownie here. Very nice. Beautiful little brownie. We're going to get him right out of here five or six inches, and he's gone. All right, so the fish are biting. That is. Excellent. So I've only been here for like five minutes and I have to say 
This is so freaking cool. I mean, I can't believe I never knew about this. Uh, because the parking area is closed and the only way in is a really difficult hike, I, uh, I'm not gonna have this place to myself, but I don't anticipate seeing too many other people. This is probably gonna be really cool. But yeah, I mean, you can see really cool rocks, waterfalls, nice little pass. This area is so beautiful. This is, and the fact that it's in Lancaster County, you really wouldn't think something like this would be here. This almost, almost reminds me of like Ricketts Glen in a, in a, in a way. Definitely Ricketts Glen-ish. Oh, got him. Oh, he popped off, dang. I'm like right up in it right now. Amazing. Even if I don't catch that many trout, I'll honestly be okay with that. If we don't catch that many trout, that's, oh, got him. Got him. Oh, he popped off, gosh. Dang it, that's the second freaking trout that popped off so far. So far, I got one, oh, one landed and two got away. Coming around this nice stretch. Looks like there's a gigantic hole up here. So we're gonna go fish that. Just wanted to show some more of the scenery. So we have this absolutely enormous hole where you and I both know there's gonna be trout in there. So let's just see, I'm trying to be real careful. Let's just see if we can coax any of these fish into biting. So I'm gonna stand right here. Wow, that is spectacular. No, oh, just had a big bite, jeez. And I missed him, gosh. Crap, so I've been thrown in this hole and wouldn't you know, just got this freaking monster wild brownie. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's gotta be 13, 14 inches, wow. That is, that's, that's probably one of the best wild brownies you're ever gonna see in your whole life. That's amazing, so let's get him out of here and release him for a wild brownie. That's about as big as you're gonna get. Monster, let's get him out of here. So again, very beautiful creek, beautiful area. Um, a lot of shallow sort of rapid water, but we are coming up on a nice, nice little riffle area. Um, cast out just like once right there. Just in case there's anything lurking in here. Ooh, something just smacked it. Gosh, this is definitely a class A that fishes like a class A. Which is really nice to see. A lot of times you go to these class A streams and, oh, got him, got him, got him. Nice guy, nice guy, nice guy, nice guy, nice guy, nice guy. Wet my hands, jeez, look at this freaking, let's get this hook at him quick. All right, I'm gonna need my pliers, but let's take a look at this guy. Real nice brownie, probably 10, 11 inches. Probably 10, 11 inches right here. So let's get our pliers, I can get him out of here. We got him off, we're gonna let him out of here. Get a nice clean release. He's gone. He's gone. Very nice. So again, as of, I don't know if you can see that, Wednesday, April, April 15th, the Lancaster Conservancy website does say, um, although the parking areas are closed, the only way into the Glen here is by Pinnacle Overlook, where we parked, and via um, Conestoga Trail, which we kind of kind of uh, stupidly hiked on. It was such a difficult hike. But anyways, just saw all the haters out there who are gonna say, hey bro, you're not supposed to fish there, it's closed. I just wanna say that I can fish here. And, you know, chew on that. I know I always say one more cast, but as a fisherman, it's hard to just take one line. Oh God, I just got smacked. Oh, got him. Got him. Little guy, little guy, little guy. 
Uh, let's take a look at them quick, very quick. Wet my hands, take a look at them quick, wet my hands. Ooh, nice little five inch brownie, getting the barbless hook literally right out of him. Super clean release, clean release, and he's gone. And he's gone, it's like it never happened. Literally like it never happened. Just got another little guy, small sky of the day. We're gonna get him right out of here. Gonna get this hook out of him. Barbless hooky, get him right out. That'll be trout number five, trout number five. So I think we got five wild brownies so far, meaning we're looking for number six. Along with the main trail, it looks like there are little fishermen's trails, which is good. Again, most of the water is, and even after a rain recently, most of the water is relatively shallow, but there are some nice, some nice holes and some nice riffles every now and then. Beautiful forest out here. Doesn't look like many people, anybody went the route that I went, probably because the Conestoga Trail is awful. It is really, really difficult. So, huh. let's try casting out right here quick. Right here quick. Huh. Looks trouty. Looks... Looks pretty trouty. Nothing. Right, let's see if we can find one, one more up here. We're gonna keep this shot going. With the light that's hitting the forest right now, it looks really pretty back here. Temperature's not too bad. It's probably in the 50s, but you know, I'm walking, so it's not too cold. Ooh, I see a nice spot right up here. We're gonna hit real quick. Real quick, bear with me. Bear with me, you got time, right? Hold on. All right, right up here. Boom. That little riffle area right there looks pretty good. So let's take a couple steps up, plant our feet, plop it right in their mouth. Oh, got him. Oh no, I got stuck, damn it. So I'm coming up on a nice deep hole. It almost looks like one of those holes that's too nice that there actually aren't even any fish in there. Um, I'd say we're definitely halfway, if not way past halfway, uh, up the glen, up the path that we were gonna go. So, um, don't get stuck. Oh, got him, got him. Nice guy, nice guy, nice guy, nice guy, nice guy, nice guy, nice guy. That'll be number six. Number six, nice medium-sized brownie. Let's take a quick look at them. Ooh, look at those vibrant reds. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful vibrant reds. We're gonna get this hook right out of him. Probably six, or, probably seven or eight inches. Real nice. So we're gonna put him right back in the hole he was at. Real nice. Clean release, and he's gone. Just saw a mile marker for this blue trail, which leads to the closed parking area, which I did not park in. So we're gonna get to that, and then, um, yeah, I think we're right here, and then we're gonna hike to my car. Yeah, just got to the parking area, close signs. Um, yeah, so that's that's probably the end of that. It looks like it's all posted private property over here, so we're not gonna fish there. So let me hike back this road and see where we get. So I got about, <clears throat> I think it's like a two mile hike back to my car. So this should not be fun. The road is so narrow here. I'm on this side path, but this ends like, in two seconds so wish me luck definitely wish me luck oh my gosh it's been making my way up this awful hill oh beautiful farmlands out here the glen that little canyon we were in is right over that farm so god you gotta love trout fishing to do dumb shit like this only in lancaster do you see a young cow in somebody's front yard that is really cool oh just got back to the Pinnacle Overlook after a two plus mile hike up a bunch of hills with very narrow roads.
right, so I just left the Pinnacle Overlook. Um, really crowded with people, so I'm doing the outro in the car. So we had a pretty good day, a lot of hiking. I mean, hiking from the Pinnacle Overlook on the Conestoga Trail all the way into the Taquan. Um, oh, we got a nice horse right here, very cool. Onto the uh, Taquan, into the Taquan Glen or whatever it's called. Uh, that was a lot, um, but yeah, the Taquan Creek was real nice. Got some uh, wild brown trout, I think five or six, up to like, I think the biggest was probably 11 or 12 inches. So definitely a good day. Um, I think that's all we have. So as always, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.